everyone and it is time for another product review now i picked this up this is the gusta vegan tuna as it says here fish free tuna i'm gonna need a sharper knife quote probably just to open this maybe um and i'm going to to try this so it says it has 18 grams of protein it's the equivalent of two cans of tuna i don't remember if i paid four or maybe 5.99 for this uh, i think it might have been on sale it's 100 percent plant-based you can see that right up there and let's see what else it's got a hundred it's 130 grams and you have 260 calories um, there's 15 grams of fat, one gram of saturated fat, 0.4 grams of trans fats. Don't know where that comes from. 14 grams of carbohydrates, six grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, 18 grams of protein, no cholesterol, 520 milligrams of sodium, um, 700 milligrams of potassium, 200 milligrams of calcium. That's a good amount there. 3.5 milligrams of iron. And the ingredients are water, textured soy protein, white beans, canola oil, natural flavors, lactic acid, which is vegan. Um, sea salt, yeast extract, dehydrated onion, seaweeds, and juice concentrate contains soy and may contain wheat. Okay, so I'm going to open this and I want to smell this. I want to see if there's like a little spot to open it at the side. Not really seeing that. Because you know, if you open these things and then the package doesn't close properly and you don't want to use it all, if you're like me, you might go back to the fridge and find that it is spoiled. But let's... Let's see how this smells. Okay, hold on here. Oh, do you want to come and help uh, determine? Okay, it definitely smells fishy. This fork is too, this is a this is a weird plastic fork. It's huge. I should probably move this over. Take a smell, maybe, or even a taste, however you want to do this. You can just take the fork. I haven't tasted it yet. What do you think of the smell? Uh, I don't know how to describe the smell. Like, it smells fishy. But it smells fishy, but I also feel like I can smell, like, the meat. The soy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I can smell the soy as well. Which is not actually a bad thing. Remember, this is a vegan product, okay. but let me taste. The taste is better than I was expecting. Oh, my God. Based on the smell. Oh, okay, hello. This? This one tastes like tuna to me. This tastes like fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This absolutely one. Oh, even that little fishy after bite. Like, do you remember when you guys used to have tuna? Yeah. If you're like me, it was the bite that you didn't necessarily love because I was never a huge fish fan, but it's not overpowering. This is yeah. really, really good. It definitely tastes better than I was expecting based on the smell. This is shocking. The only thing is like, it depends. Like maybe you could say it's slightly firm. But I think it's fine. Well, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some mayonnaise. And let me get this, you know, how you'd make like a tuna salad. Because I'm going to have this as a sandwich. So let me get this mixed with mayonnaise and tell you how I feel about it. Okay, so honestly, guys, this I, I'm really, really impressed with Gusta. They make some fantastic products, by the way. Um, this already I, is a win. And I would, I'm going to tell my mother. In fact, I'll buy some for my mom. I'll tell her to try it. And I might, <laughs> guys, I tried to make something with some seaweed. I tried to make like, kind of like a crab cake thing and I wanted to retry it. I'm just adding some mayonnaise here. I'm using the nut mayo. I wanted to retry the recipe because it, it <sighs> the seaweed, what did I have, Chloe? Was that seaweed that it was so, so fishy. Like it had such a strong taste of fish, of the ocean to it that I couldn't handle it. Like I didn't, I, I was never the biggest fish fan. So I wanted to try remaking it with less of that in there. So I haven't posted that video. There's a lot of videos I haven't posted yet. All right, here we are with this mixed up as you would have it, probably I'll add a bit more of the tuna because I got extra mayo, but let's taste this as, you know, how you'd have a tuna salad, okay? Except for the fact that the texture is probably a little chewier with the soy. This is a really, really good tuna replacement. 
Obviously the mayo is, is, you know, kind of is a bit strong too, takes away some of the flavor because it's not an overpowering fish flavor, but this is going to be a good sandwich. I'm looking forward to this. I will buy this again. And I was not the biggest tuna fan. I'm just really impressed with this. I'm impressed with Gusta. They make lots of great products. And guys, that is all for now. Once again, it is the Gusta Fish Free Tuna. And tell me if you've tried it, what you think about it. And what are your favorite vegan tunas? They have some in the cans that are really expensive for small cans. The PC brand that I reviewed before, I'm not gonna buy that one again. This I will. Let me know what your favorite one is. This is the close up of the sandwich with some tomatoes and onions added to it. And honestly, this just looks like your typical tuna sandwich, tuna salad sandwich. And the taste is really nice. I really like this. And probably for me especially, I like that it's not over fishy. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that's a win. But it definitely tastes like fish. This is a really good replica. And that's all for now. See you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,